Hello, in this session, uh, we will look at a working example of your uh, snapshots. So essentially, in this session, we will look at uh, two things. One is to create your uh, snapshots from the EBS volume. So we will have an EBS volume that will be attached to your EC2 instance. So we will look at how you can create a, a snapshot out of your EBS volumes. And then we will also look at how you can restore these snapshots uh, and create a new EBS volume. So we'll look at how you can create the snapshot and then we will also look at how you can restore that snapshot and create a new EBS volume. All right. Uh, once again, before we start off with the session, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Now here, uh, this is my AWS console and here I have an EC2 instance that is running. So this is an example instance that I am running. And as part of this instance, we already have a volume that is attached to this uh, instance. So we have an EBS volume and this EBS volume will be available here under volumes section. So if you go to the volumes, uh, we should be able to see the EBS volume that is attached with our EC2 instance. So whenever you launch your EC2 instances, all the volumes will be available in this section on the list and you can see to which uh, instance this is associated. So this is associated with the Docker EC2 instance. And by default, we get uh, uh, one volume. If you want to uh, create additional volumes, you can create the additional volumes. And if you want to attach the additional volumes to your EC2 instance, you can do that also. Now, how do you create these snapshots out of this? So there are two ways that you can create the uh, snapshot of your EBS volume. Uh, we look at both the uh, ways. So the first way you have is imagine you have 10 volumes over here and you want to take a backup of one of the EBS volume. You can select the volumes and go to actions and here you should be able to see this create snapshot option. Click on that, give it a name. So let's call this as snapshot demo and you can add a tag if you want. Uh, it's recommended and just click on create snapshot and this will start creating the snapshot for us. Now once you create your snapshot, all of your snapshots will be available over here. Uh, on the left hand side you can see the snapshots so here this is where you can find all the snapshots so this is the snapshot that uh, we have created just now and this is in the pending status now depending on the data that you have in your ebs volumes your snapshots may take time uh, so it totally depends on the amount of data that you have within your ebs volumes now in my case i don't have much data so this should not take uh, much time to create the snapshot but once a snapshot uh, is created, this status, this will change to available. That means your snapshot has been created. This is one way. So you can go to the volumes, select the volumes and then click on create snapshot that will create the snapshot. The other option you have is you can go to the snapshots and here you can see this create snapshot option. And um, here you will have to manually select the volume. So imagine you have 10 volumes, you'll have to select uh, the volume from that list. You also have the option of taking a backup or snapshot of multiple volumes. So imagine you have an EC2 instance and to that EC2 instance, you have attached multiple EBS volumes. And if you want to take a snapshot of all the EBS volumes, you can go with this option and you can select your instance. So if you have like, let's say two, three EBS volumes attached to an instance, you can take a backup of all the volumes. So instead of taking uh, one snapshot, I mean, one uh, backup of one EBS volumes at a time, you can take a backup of all the EBS volumes in one single snapshot. Okay. So uh, we'll go with this option where you can select the volume. Again, you can give a name to this. And uh, if you want, you can add a tag to this and just click on create snapshot. And this will also create a snapshot for us. So this is the second way to create your snapshot. So um, this is loading. So here you can see this, this is the first snapshot that we created and this is in the available completed status. That means my data backup is completed. And this is the second way that we are doing it. And this is in progress. So either way you can use to uh, create a snapshots and it will simply take a backup of your EBS volume. So this is how you can take a backup of your EBS volumes and you can create your snapshots. Now, the second thing that we are going to look at is how do you restore your EBS volume? So that is, um, let's say you want to restore your data and you want to create your new EBS volumes. How do we do that? Now, to do that, you can select your snapshots, whichever snapshots you have, you can select your snapshots and go to actions and here you will see create volume from snapshot. Okay, the first option. 
So this is basically we are telling uh, uh, that we want to create a new EPS volume from the snapshot. So click on this and you'll have to start filling in the details. So you can choose the volume type you want, how much of uh, volume you want and all these details. So let's call this as um, restored volume just for the sake of understanding and then click on create volume and what this will do is this will restore so this will create a new volume for us and this volume will be available under the volumes section and here you can see the volume has been created for us and you can see this is available so available means it is not attached with any uh, instance and we can go ahead and attach this in with uh, ec2 instance that we want so this is so the restoring is pretty simple just select this snapshot and then click on restore and it will create a new volume for us and then you'll have to if you want to make it usable you'll have to attach this to uh, you'll have to mount it so you'll have to first attach it to your ec2 instance and then you'll have to run some commands on the ec2 instance to mount it this is for the linux machine right but that's pretty much how your uh, snapshots work so you can uh, at any point you want to take a backup of your eps volumes we make use of your snapshots and if you want to restore your data we can go ahead and create uh, new EBS volumes by making use of your snapshots. That's all for this session. Thank you. Once again, please don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, leave a like and please share the video.